From the Cal Fire Information Center, I'm Daniel Bordelant with the weekly fire situation report from Monday, June 25th, 2012. Last week started out with high temperatures and high fire danger due to red flag warning conditions across many parts of the state. With the conditions being just right for fires, firefighters were kept very busy, especially during the first part of the week. Two large wildfires that started out last week were contained during the first half of the week. The old fire, which sparked last Sunday in eastern San Diego County and charred just under 1,000 acres. It took over 900 firefighters four days to combat the wind whip flames. In Riverside County, the Highland Fire south of Beaumont charred 2,100 acres. Fortunately, that fire burned in a remote area, so firefighters were able to prevent the fire from destroying any homes. On Saturday, a fire sparked 10 miles southeast of Fraser Park on the Los Padres National Forest in eastern Ventura County. Cal Fire has been assisting the U.S. Forest Service along with the Ventura County Fire Department, the L.A. County Fire Department, and the Kern County Fire Department. As of Monday morning, the fire is 689 acres and 60 percent contained. Full containment is expected on Tuesday. Take a look now at our weather outlook for the week. You've probably noticed the cooler temperatures the past few days, and that's due to a strong low pressure just off the coast. The low pressure will continue to bring cooler temperatures through the next few days, but by midweek we can expect a warming trend. But it won't last long as the next Pacific low pressure system is expected on Friday and could bring us some cool weather and even maybe some rain in the far northwest part of the state. With 4th of July right around the corner, the weather is perfect for camping. But between the fireworks, barbecues, and family get-togethers, make sure, if you have a campfire, that you follow a few simple steps. Clear a 5-foot ring of dirt around the fire. Ensure you have a water supply to douse the flames. Have a fire permit and always make sure that the fire is fully extinguished with ample amounts of water. That's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire-safe week.